Hi guys, it's Jamila. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing my June TBR. As you guys have probably noticed, before my last video or my last two videos, I had over a month where I did not post. It's a long story. So much was going on. Postpartum depression hitting hard. It just really, really threw me off my game. So I don't think I had TBRs for the past two months, which... It was May and April so here I am trying to get back on track at the moment it's May 24th and I am behind my reading schedule I'm not really stressed about it I just would like to catch up if I can but if I can't like I'm not gonna stress myself over it or anything like that okay so I am six books behind schedule I have been reading but I haven't been able to really finish a book so yeah I'm talking way too much let's just get into my TBR first book on my list is Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo this book is pretty much I want to get to this book because of the Netflix TV show everybody has watched the show and I'm being stubborn and I'd really like to read the book but at the same time I also heard that I don't know I, I don't really know but I heard that the show has shadow and bone and six of crows so if that's the case I'm royally screwed but I just I don't know I don't know do I watch do, go ahead and watch the show or do a read I don't know but I would like to read this I still have not read the series and I have all three books in this series because I got the box set for $15 yeah but I would like to get to Shadow and Bone so that I could watch the TV show and then this next book I would like to get to just because I absolutely positive loved the first book and that is Kingdom of Copper by S.A. Chakraborty. If you have not read City of Brass, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. The world building, immaculate. The writing, spectacular. Everything, everything. The characters, stunning. Like, if you have not read it, you need to read it. And therefore, I need to read Kingdom of Copper because it's time. We are past due. It needs to happen. I'm ready. I think I read, I think I read City of Breath in January or February, one of those. So it's time, you guys, for me to get to this. The next book I would love to read because I've never heard anyone say anything bad about it. And that is The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I also want to read a Madeline Miller book, but I have not yet. I think she only has two books. I could be wrong. But yeah, I would like to read this. Yes, please. And thank you. I've heard that this will possibly make me cry and it's like heart wrenching and all these things. And I am excited to give this one a shot. I know that this one I think is based off of, is it Greek mythology? Roman? Greek? I don't know. One of those. So yeah, I'd like to read this ASAP. The next book is one I've been wanting to read for a long time. This one is An American Marriage by Tyari Jones. This one's about a newlywed couple, a woman named Celestial and a guy named Roy. So just as they get married and start settling into their routine with each other, and living their life they're ripped apart by circumstances that neither of them could have imagined roy is arrested and sentenced to 12 years in prison for a crime celestial knows that he did not commit so pretty much it's how celestial gets through this and what happens in her life and i guess maybe eventually her husband comes home i don't know we will see sounds interesting and i'm excited excited to read this one. The next book we have here is a third book in a series and that is Bright We Burn by Kirsten White. This is the third book in the And Our Darken series and I just feel like it's about time I go ahead and read the conclusion to this series. I have read the first two books and I just would like to go ahead and finish because I do want to know what happens to these characters. And Our Darken is a Vlad the Impaler retelling but it features a female version of Vlad, which is a girl named Lada, and she's a fierce, she's angry, she is badass, and it's a good time. I personally enjoy this series, although it has some flaws. It definitely has flaws. I have enjoyed it so far. It's just kind of interesting just to see where it goes. But yes, I'm very, very fiercely excited 
for this last book and I really do hope that it pulls the punches because I want to see what happens to Lada, Radu, and Mehmed and yeah so the next book I would like to read is The Lantern's Ember by Colleen Hupp. This book just seems right up my alley. It's super interesting. So it's about Ember O'Dare and she has a secret. She is a witch and she has this pull, this ancient pull towards this bridge in her town called the Hallowell. It's an ancient bridge but little does she know this bridge is a gateway to the other world, a realm crawling with fiendish beasts. And then we have this character named Jack and he is a watchman for the other world and his task is to keep meddlesome mortals away. So of course these two are entangled because Ember wants to cross into the other world and it's just like some romance seems like it's going on. It just sounds super interesting and I'd love to read it so cannot wait. <laughs> and then this last book I would like to buddy read with my sister and that is Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. This is a thriller and well that's what it says it says it's a thriller we'll see but yes this book is about two characters uh Callum and Sefi and Callum is a knot and Sefi is a cross so knots are the second class citizens and crosses are the ruling citizens of this world and of course knots and crosses do not mix so trouble is a brew when Sefi and Callum start to fall for each other potentially. <laughs> so pretty much these two are they keep meeting in secret and things like that and trying to ignore the fact that they come from completely different worlds but when a terrorist attack happens and Callum's family is a link to it they're no longer able to ignore pretty much what their differences are so it's like that type of thing but but I'm pretty excited about this. I think my sister told me that there is a TV show for this book and I don't know what it's on. Sorry my nose is itching. I don't know what it's on but yeah I am interested in checking that out for sure. But yes I can't wait to read this with her and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And those are the seven books I would like to get to in the month of June. <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you enjoy it. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it, especially in this period of time where I had to take a break for my mental health. And I didn't say anything and I'm the worst for that. But I do appreciate all the support and all of the subscribers. To all of my oldie but goodie subscribers and my new boos who have subscribed, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate you. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what you guys have been reading or what you're interested in reading in the month of June. And I'll try to chat with you guys and respond back. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye!